Hey everyone and welcome to Search Attack channel Today we're gonna see how to use the SD card to show bitmap image on the TFTLC screen So before we proceed make sure you know how to use this uh, shield with Arduino on the board And also if you have the touch screen problem or something you can uh, consult my uh, previous videos I did the tutorial about how to use it and fixing the touch screen problem if it's not detected or if it's inverted then I went through some uh, basic functions on how to display shapes or colors on this uh, shield so today we're gonna see how to use the SD card which is mounted here on the back of the shield we're gonna use it to display simple images as you saw in the, in the intro so first of all make sure you to format your uh, SD card by plugging it in your computer and format as a FAT32 and then after doing this you can uh, add your images as you want image based it should be bitmap24 so to create this you go just to your best friend for creating these images is paint actually uh, this is paint so here you should have the dimensions of, uh, of the image it should be 320 by 240 if you are holding it like this or you can uh, do a rotation if you want them uh, if you want them like uh, this like a profile and so don't forget that also the screen has a set rotation when we set the rotation to zero which is the default rotation it's by here but if you set like a rotation one it will be here this will be top and this bottom so this is how you create the image when whatever you take uh, whatever image you want or create uh, another one then you should save it as like uh, uh, bitmap 24 bits that's the those are the images we're gonna see on the on the screen later so that's it how to create the image don't forget 20 bitmap 24 bits and you transfer them to the to the SD card and remember their name or uh, register their name or copy it in something because you're gonna need it so uh, first let's plug our Arduino this is the function going now it's just showing this image like this keep scrolling to the images it's simple now we're gonna it's that's the code but now we're gonna upload another one they are uh, pretty much the same no, uh, there's no much difference so the program is here we have the libraries SPFD we saw this before how to download them and things GFX and TFT LCD then for the SD card we have SPI and SD for using the SD card then we are declaring our uh, variables here to connect with our uh, shield and don't forget the SD card pin which is 10 it's DSCS is 10 it may be another one for your uh, shield because the one I'm using it is just a cheap Chinese one so here in the setup we have the serial begin if you want to see uh, some uh, messages on the on the uh, serial monitor it will be very useful in case you have uh, a problem with your SD card or with your shield or something so the code uh, so I don't forget just took it from the example is PFD example but I removed a lot of things and changed a lot of things for this you just go to the library the SPFD library then there is CFD BMP but this code is very big but should start from it in case you have a problem or something it will show it on your uh, serial monitor so here we go as we start the uh, SD card and they start our uh, shield here in the loop there is only we calling only this uh, this uh, function which is BMP draw so, uh, and we put here the name of the image we put so the image is its name is logo then we add logo.bmp in like this uh, like this so that's it and here the function I took it as it is from the from the example I didn't change anything it just do the con uh, 
get the file from the card and then do the conversion and in case there is something wrong with the image or the SD card it's, it shows so that's it and we upload it to our board So that's it because we didn't set the rotation uh, to one or something just scroll like this and you can modify the the time if you want if you, you can add a delay or something you just uh, show these images I hope you can see it let me turn the light off So as I said, you just added uh, the name, then the things will show up here. Just keep the function as it is the function given in the in the example. Now we're gonna pass to a, like a little project or something when I have images here, and then I press here or here to make like a sli slideshow where I can and I can press here it moves uh, the next image or I go back here it mo goes back to the first image um, I made a little code for this let's see first how the code works so here it's being uploaded I'm gonna turn the light off so now I set the rotation as one. So now this is the image are moving like from this to this. This is the top and this is the bottom. And here, don't forget to subscribe if you want. And then I press here to move to the next picture and leave a like if you want or a comment or if you have a problem or something. Then I press here to go to the next image. Then the last image. People who do digital image processing now this uh, this girl if I press here I go back here but then if I press like uh, the last one and I keep pressing it doesn't move you can modify the code so the last one will go back to the first one but here I did ju it just stops completely this is like a slideshow first one is automatic but this uh, one uh, we should press to move the images it's a nice example if you want to add it to your project let's go now to the to the code okay so this is the code and here we don't don't forget to add like the spfd touch screen so you can activate the, the touch screen things and here we have like uh, the important things are like this define xp xm and ym and xp and those i modified them in the previous tutorials uh, because i had a problem uh, here it was a1 a276 but it doesn't detect my touch when i press uh, when i press in the screen it doesn't detect anything i had to change them to these values uh, make sure your one works perfectly otherwise you should uh, change them and then we have this uh, um, variables here we do it uh, when we do the calibration uh, code you just go to example and do the calibration code to know these values it shows it shows right here then what uh, this is a classic one we yeah, like we declare the touch screen just TS uh, as, uh, to detect our touch or something and then here's why uh, what I add in the code so here char x equal uh, this x is an array x equal x1 dot bmp so the first image its name is x1 so when, which is important I had to change them so here the things we saw before and then the TFT set rotation one because I wanted it from top and bottom. So here what I do first in the void uh, setup is the BMP draw X. 
so x is this one it's not the same the same uh, writing idea as I did before before I wrote this x1 dot BMP like this here but now just x with this is one uh, I will show you why I, I write it like in this in this form so here we show the first images then we'll go back to this then we get we detect our uh, point where we press we detect it we took uh, its uh, the first one we detect is Z PZ it should be in a it's a very big range minimum pressure and maximum pressure when we press there is a pressure actually there is a minimum one and a maximum one so once it gets detected that we have pressed in the in the screen it detects now should detect the x and y position of the touch and then we compare so here i'm comparing only the the y position which is this one to this y and what i did here is just i took hold this rectangle here as a button so if i press in this area it goes back to the previous image and the next one here the whole rectangle here it just goes to the next image and here to, oh, to know this position i just took y uh, we don't care if we press here or here or whatever just y which is important if we have press in this side or in this side uh, i think you know it so here i do like if it's uh, uh, superior to zero and inferior to 100 which is this area which it writes in the serial monitor as left as i press left so i press here and what happens here when i press left it the x1 equal x1 min, minus one so the, it, it takes the the position one from the array which is here this is the array so x1 is this one and this one gets replaced by uh, the one plus one which uh, comes to, to uh, sorry this one uh, <coughs> it's a uh, minus one sorry so here but here it stops uh, i took a very bad example so it started from here so right here what happened x1 equal equal x1 so this one here this one here receives uh, another one it gets incremented it becomes x2 so now the, the uh, when we do this the array becomes uh, x2 dot bmp and which is get drawn here x2 dot bmp and if i press again the 2 will become 3 and the, the x will be x3 dot bmp that's what happened here and the same thing for uh, this one if like it was 3 and then minus 1 it goes to x3 which is the the image the name of the image i put in the sd card don't forget to to name them like as a one two three four or x1 whatever you want but should, it should be a number so it get increased otherwise it won't work so why i said first it was a bad example because this is what happened if it's the the one in char actually is uh, is uh, is for 49 so if it gets it gets lower than uh, for 49 it should come back to 49 to keep the in the last image like this so this is the last image i should press but it should stop so what happens here is that the one becomes zero here if i press here uh, sorry if i press here with with the x1 dot bmp it becomes a minus one it becomes like x0 dot bmp and x0 dot bmp it doesn't exist in my in my picture so what what i do here it happens like here is x1 it becomes inferior to 49 which is one i put i make it back to 49 so here it doesn't get any lower than this then if you press here it goes to the next image no problem and same one for the last image so last image is uh, 52 and if it gets higher than 52 it, sh it shouldn't get higher anymore it should stop at uh, 52 which is the last image and those are the numbers as an integer but if you make them to the char it they change their values so don't forget to make a difference between a char and an integer i think that's it for this project little project it's very simple how to read an image from the sd card and how to display it and how to do an automatic like a slideshow or if you want a manual one when you press uh, buttons to go here or here 
and that's it i hope you like it and don't forget to subscribe comment or everything you want and see you next time